we have a question in the chat from angela saying why don't you guys support real madrid and be happy in life <laughs> i think that's a very fair question to ask to me when i was watching the game they weren't the better team throughout the entire game i felt like dortmund clearly had very very good chances and i love how you're showing your support wearing that yellow t-shirt today as well <laughs> like <Right>. do- yeah <laughs> the yellow wall right like dortmund yeah. had some very good chances in the first half they could have been like up by one or two goals easily and uh, yeah i mean they did not take their chances and madrid like penalized them heavily at the end that's what madrid does right there fa- there's this weird champions league dna that they have in their squad i don't, I don't know how they pass it on to their players every new generation but mm-hmm. like they just have this ability to score those clutch goals in those clutch moments and then just like hold the game and choke the game till the end yeah dude i'm looking at some first half stats here okay xg dortmund 1.68 real madrid 0.09 in the first half <laughs> eight shots on target for dortmund two for real madrid three shots on target for dortmund in the first half zero for real madrid <laughs> i think that's something it's game. insane so, bro yeah that is ridiculous how do you how do you go on to lose a game from that from the first half you know yeah I, this is this will happen if you don't convert these kind of chances at real madrid in a ucl final then mm-hmm. i feel like at this point as you guys said right team should know that they're inevitable like it's just <laughs> a matter of time you know what i think it it's exactly like that premier one of premier league games right like liverpool or city if they go go against fulham or west brom and and they have a good chances in the first half or something and then eventually the quality shines through and then liverpool city versus united they just win the match right and at that point of time we don't give it so much thought because it's bound to happen because you know that united liverpool are superior team not so much united right now but liverpool and city are superior teams and then they just kind of i mean yeah, yeah xg is better and whatever but the individual brilliance shines through and we're mm-hmm. only talking about the quality so much right now because it's a champions league final because it has so much visibility there because for real madrid it's just a thing like oh yeah fine it's fine i mean we will stand the pressure we'll do whatever it is we'll won't the best thing that they do is that they don't panic they don't panic bayern munich were literally 88 minutes they yeah. were like they were right there like you know in at their stadium and and they they know that they've got it but still Daniel they didn't panic Noyes. Makes a mistake I, I, that he hasn't made dude, in like ten years. It's written in the stars. You, I, exactly, I'm telling you, and this is the this is the black magic that that I think Real Madrid has, right? I mean, things that will never ever happen in general, they'll just happen against Real Madrid. For example, if you take the 17-18 Champions League final, right? The, Don't the tell Madrid fans about things that never happen that only happen. To us. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, I know, I know, but I think I think it's just that these things happen and they don't panic and they have this aura and all of those things combined it's just something, you know, it's written in their DNA at this point. Yeah. I yeah, it, it sort of seems like it. And you know, honestly, I'm so like at the end of it I was telling Sid this yesterday after the game. The whole mm-hmm. game looked like a Cruz Modric photo op like at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what they made this for in the end of the yeah. day this year but dude it's not so like i'm glad about one thing right this could this could be one of those times where this could end the supremacy of real madrid in the champions league because it's not going to be the same format from next year at all it's yeah. a league you you're playing a lot more games you're traveling a lot more uh consistency across a certain period of time is what might win you might win you the champions league we have a question in the chat from angela saying why don't you guys support real madrid and be happy in life <laughs> i think that's a very fair question to ask <laughs> who's asking <laughs> angela but, is asking okay but Shindra. supporting real madrid is as much as it brings you joy and happiness and then this never ending celebrations it also gets boring at a point exactly. like you you know you it get it bored is of winning I, i know it 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 sounds moronic when you say that i'm, get, I'm getting bored of winning but <laughs> it it is in general it is boring you kind of slowly but surely lose interest in the sport that you yeah. so are attached to i mean and that, that's what happens for example if you take psg right psg they are winning the league 
every season and it it's more or less a certainty if you support bayern munich in the in the german league they are winning the league every yeah. season and this season yeah even if they lost to leverkusen next they are sure that they're going to win the next season because if there is no competition yeah. if there is nothing and if there is this sense of inevitability to it what's the point of supporting because you can only <laughs> enjoy your success at you know when when you go through this soul crushing depression like a liverpool fan or like what you know like fans are going fan. through yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean you have to go through that and then you feel that sense of that slight window of happiness you know what that uh, that guy says in the movie the pursuit of happiness that this phase of my life is called happiness that's what you strive for right i don't know i mean yeah yeah we are always striving for this one nil at brentford bro that's so One nil at Brentford is like a season. Guys, want to hear something crazy? There's us. only one team in Europe that won the treble this year. Can you take a guess which one? Which 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 craziness this is? Wait, it's not Leverkusen. It's um, not Leverkusen. Wait, what's the question? There's only one team in Europe which won the treble this year. Oh, uh, one team in Europe won the domestic treble. No, PSG. Yeah. Yeah. PSG. They did win. They did they won, win. They won two. One Mickey Mouse Cup, one France FA Cup, and one league. Yeah. But oh, Uber Eats League. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't understand the point of PSG and the French league, man. I they think they've monopolized it and then they've that got is, it to. That is the PSG Invitational, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you But, imagine, bro? Can you imagine these guys thought, like you said, they'd be winning forever, and mm-hmm. even they haven't won when like Emery and Poch were there. Like even <laughs> they, they had to see that Barcelona game. Remember mm-hmm. under Emery? Oh yeah. God! Oh That's... my God! That game, right? Yeah. I think yeah. Sergi Roberto was the one who got the winner yeah. towards the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember Nene. that. Yeah. This is prime Nene in Barcelona. <laughs> This is an era, dude. Yeah. 